everybody. Tom Morley here from FOSS 365. Um, I've been away for a while, so I've got a new operating system. I'm using Ubuntu Studio 19.4, and um, I like it so far. It, it's got a lot of the programs that I like to use, but um, I got intrigued by a new video editor called Olive, and a lot of you may know about it, but I'm not so sure that you know that you can add your own effects to Olive using a few simple steps and that's what we're going to go over in this video so let's get started at the other day kind of looking for tutorials and information on the Alla video editor and um, I kind of came across a site that talked about community effects for the Alla editor CG virus has created a location for community effects so you can see he's created a few effects of his own that you can add to the Olive Editor. It's, it's like barrel distortion, bloom, some bokeh blur, denoise, glitch, halftone, kaleidoscope, and some sharpen as well. So one of the interesting things that um, I came across here is he talks about where to install these new effects if you have Windows or if you have Linux. And I'll go over the Linux location when, uh, when we get to that. And I'll have a link to this website in the description below. But the first thing that you want to do is you want to basically just download this, the, the different effects here. So we're going to do that. We're going to download the zip file, save it to standard location here. And once I've done that, then I need to extract that file that I downloaded and I need to put it here in a folder called dot local share olive editor um, slash olive and it looks like it needs to be in a folder named effects so let's go ahead and do that let's do my downloads which is there let's extract this here okay so it looks like I've got a folder and a bunch of different folders in inside here with the different effects inside their own folder. So that's kind of cool. All right. Now that we have that, we need to put that in a different location. So let's cut this, paste it in the location they're talking about. So I'll go to my home location. Now I don't see any dot um, anything that he's talking about. So it should be a dot local location or folder. The reason why I don't see it is because that's a hidden folder. Anything that starts with a dot is hidden in Linux. So I need to come up to view and I have to make sure that show hidden files is selected. And now you see I've got a bunch of folders here. One of them is dot local. Let's go to dot local. Let's hit share. In here you'll see that I do have an Olive video editor. I've already installed Olive. And it created that folder as well as the Olive folder. Now, it did not create the effects folder, so what you'll need to do is you'll need to create a new folder in here and call it effects. Go into that folder, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to paste that downloaded folder that I had from CG Virus. Effects location website here. Now that I've downloaded that folder, I should automatically, when I fire up Olive, have access to those community effects. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if I do. Go ahead and fire up Olive. Of course, I need to create a new sequence. So I'll create a new sequence. So I've got something down here. I need something in timeline. So let's go ahead and just put a solid color there. Click solid col color and then drag out how long you want that solid color to be. We're going to select it with a left click and we're going to cursor. So this shows the solid color. Now if we want to go up and do effects, the community effects should show up in the list and they do. They're right here. There's the community effects with barrel distort, bloom, find edge, glitch, kaleidoscope, radial, sharp. All of the effects that he has created here on his website. But now that he's created this, it basically tells you a few things in here. And one of the things is that when you, if you're going to create your own effects, you need to make sure that you have a, the folder name common present in your effect folder. So 
he created some effects but we want to create some of our own so what I've done is I've created my own folder called FOSS 365 and if you go in here see that it's got a common folder well where did I get that common folder back up and go back into CG viruses folder you'll see that there's a common folder a common folder has a frag and a and a vert file and that's what you need is you need this common folder so go ahead and copy that and just paste it in your own already got it here so place all in there now I've got that common folder now I've already created a bunch of different background effects from some GLSL playgrounds that I found out on the internet so what am I talking about with that go to gslsandbox.com I'm already on page 59 here but go through the different pages and see a whole bunch of different effects that they have available that may work with Olive so when you click on them you can kind of see the effect this shows you the code right here that generates this particular background effect so let's back up Let's take a look at this one here. It looks like red blood cells. It's quite a bit of code there. I don't know anything about the code, and you don't need to know it either to add these effects to Olive. So what do I need to do? I've already, I already have a couple of folders here, but let's go ahead and go back to the community effects here, and let's grab Glitch. Let's just copy Glitch copy that glitch folder bring it over into our own folder we're going to paste it in here and we're going to rename it we're just going to call it blood name this to blood our blood folder and in there you're going to see two files one file is a an xml file that's basically going to tell olive the name of the effect and where the frag file which is this file right here is located so what is a frag file let's go ahead and open that up you'll see that there's a whole bunch of code in here this frag file is nothing more than a bunch of code that's telling olive what to render on the screen so what we're going to do is we're going to edit select all and we're going to delete all the code that's in here and we're going to go back to the website where the blood cells are and Going to copy all of this code so you want to make sure that you get it all I'm going to just highlight some of it here scroll down to the very bottom make sure you get this last bit of code here I'm going to hold the shift key click down here see everything's highlighted in blue now I'm going to right click in the blue copy all of that code and go back to my file here and I'm going to paste it in there Make sure that it's got I'll go all the way down to the bottom. Make sure that I got that little last piece right there, and I did. Scroll up to the top, and now I'm going to say File, and I'm going to say Save. I'm going to close it because what I want, I'm going to minimize this browser here, and I don't want it to say Glitch.frag. This is going to be my blood effect, so let's rename this file Blood. And now I've renamed this file to blood, this frag file. Before we edit it, let's rename this as well. I want them both to say blood. Related to the blood effect. So now we'll open this up and open it up with any text editor you have. Open it with mouse pad. And this is the XML file basically telling Olive how to handle this effect in the Olive program itself. So what is the name of the effect? Well, it's no longer glitch, right? It's going to be a background, so I'm using standard here, and I'm putting BG in front of everything I create. I'm putting a dash, and this is going to be the blood effect. So the name of it is going to be BG-blood. And the category here is where it's going to show up when you click on the effects menu in Olive. You can name this anything you want. Um, all the community plugins would probably stay under the community section, but I've put all of my effects in a section called fun. So let's change this to fun. 
basically telling Olive that I want this effect to show up as BG blood in the Olive program. And I want it to be under a category called fun. Now, there aren't any variables that I need to manipulate in the blood. I just want it to show up. So basically, I don't need any of the extra code here. Get rid of all of that code. The only thing that I need is for this XML to point to my blood frag program. So that's what this is saying here. Where is the effect that I want to execute when it runs this file? It's not glitch anymore, right? It's going to be the blood frag file. So in this XML, I've basically created instructions for Olive to put this effect as BG blood in the fun section of the effects of Olive. And when I select it, I want it to run the blood frag programs. So program. So let's save that. Let's close it. Now remember I've got my blood XML and my blood.frag. So now I should be all set. I've got the code in my frag uh, file and I've got the XML telling Olive what I want it to do when it reads this this XML file and where to find frag to run. So it should be good. I should be able to see the blood in the Olive program when I run it. One of the things you need to do is, is stop Olive because it's going to load up all of these new effects when it loads up in the very beginning. And you can see that I've already created a bunch of different backgrounds and actually one effect called snow. So I've got a candy cane background, fireball, nebula, and they're all different effects that I found on this website that I've just copied the code and pasted into folders like I showed you. So um, I have named most of these BG underscore the folders. So I might as well just continue doing that things up here and let's just call it BG blood could be anything you want but um, I'm gonna be consistent here so that all my backgrounds are in BG dash and my effects are in FX dash so now when I run olive I should see not only the community plugins from CG virus here but I also should see all of the effects that I created in my own folder, Boss 365 folder here. Blood, Candy Cane, and Fireball, those. So let's see if it works. Let's load up Olive again. Let's right click here and create a new sequence so that we've got something down here to work. Let's click the plus. Grab a solid color here, just so we have, again, something to work with. Let's left click on select it let's move the cursor here now let's go to the effects section I should have all the community plugins I had before and I created a fun section right using that XML and I should see a BG blood in here and I do it's right there so if I select it there you go you can see the blood effect that was on the website running natively in the olive editor so that's pretty cool. So now you can basically use that uh, for any background. You can create a title here. Let's change the text. It's 65. Change the softness a little bit. So yeah, you can um, use that as a background. And now that um, you know how to create your own effects in Olive, you can generate your own stuff here, much like I have. Let's check out some of the other backgrounds that I've already done. I'll leave a link to where um, my effects are so that you can grab them and put them in Olive if you want them. Fun. Let's take a look at Candy Cane. Oh, there's Candy Cane background. I also put it on the text layer, which you don't want to do. Let me delete that. I want to put it in solid color, bottom side here. Add and do that again. Cut candy cane. 
Oops. Boss 365 needs to be a little bit darker. That, let's actually get it from Rich Text's editor. It works. So yeah, you got the candy cane there. Let's see what else are created. Got a fireball, which is kind of cool. Kind of just creates a fireball. It's kind of neat. Put it in sections. So I have, I have Nebula. That one's really cool. Pretty cool. Paint. Yeah, that's an interesting one. That's basically paint. It is um, wet paint oozing into each other in the background. That's pretty cool. Grab off the website and put on there. Let's do a sci fi. Sci fi is pretty neat too. Sci fi background. That is. I've got. Stir's pretty interesting. Gives you a kind of in your face look. But basically, all you need to do is what I showed you and. Um, not at all of the code that's on the GSL Sandbox website is going to work in Olive, but quite a bit of it does. And all you need to do is just browse through it. And if you see something that you like, if you like this one, just, uh, just copy that code and put it in the frag file like, uh, like I showed you. So have fun putting effects in the Olive video editor, and I'll see you in the next one.